I'm John Kosar, Chief Market Strategist at Asbury Research. Thanks for listening to our latest Following the Money podcast. Today is November the 19th, 2023. Today, I'll be talking about what our latest analysis and data-driven models are saying about current financial market conditions. That is, when to be on offense and looking for opportunities and looking to add to your portfolio and when to be on defense and protecting your capital. Two weeks ago, our November 5th Following the Money podcast was entitled, Last Week's Rebound Could Be the Start of a Great Fourth Quarter. Since then, the benchmark S&P 500 has risen by an additional 4% and is currently amid mostly favorable conditions for more strength into year end. Now let's follow the money and take a look at some of the latest data. First, let's look at our Asbury Research data-driven models. Our Asbury 6 risk management model shifted to positive or bullish on November the 2nd, and the S&P 500 has since risen by 5%. The Asbury 6 remains positive heading into next week. You could learn more about the Asbury 6 by going to asburyresearch.com, choosing models across the top of the screen, and then scrolling down to the Asbury 6. Now let's move to sector rotation via our CEF model. CEF is an acronym. It's S. EAF, and it stands for Sector ETF Asset Flows. In our previous November 5th Following the Money podcast, I said that the CEF model was overweight the technology sector. The CEF model actually first became a long overweight in technology on October the 9th, and XLK, which is the uh, Sector Spider ETF for technology, has since risen by 8% outright while outperforming the S&P 500 by 4%. XLK still remains an overweight by the CEF model heading into next week, along with two additional sectors. Asbury Research subscribers can get the latest details on the CEF model and the latest signals by logging into Asbury Research's Research Center. Now let's move to something that has caught our eye here over the past several weeks or more, semiconductors. Two weeks ago, again, back in our uh, November 5th following the, following the Money podcast, I talked about what looked like an emerging bullish breakout in semiconductors. The Philix Semiconductor Index, or the SOX Index, SOX, has since risen by 9%, while outperforming the S&P by 5%. Semis still appear to have some upside potential, and this is particularly important because semis tend to lead the U.S. broad market both higher and lower. Now let's talk about investor sentiment. A daily survey of futures trader bullishness on the S&P 500 reached the least bullish extreme at the very end of October, and that coincided with the stock market bottom that we had uh, on October the 27th. Um, that same extreme also corresponded with bottoms in October of 2022, in March of 2020, which was the COVID bottom, and also in December of 2018. Uh, this metric is currently suggesting that although it's already identified the bottom at the end of October, there's still plenty of room for more stock market strength before it reaches an opposite most bullish extreme that historically coincides with market tops. More detail about this metric and a corresponding chart of our available Asbury Research subscribers and our Keys to This Week report, which is available in the Research Center. Recent media interviews. I was recently interviewed by Investors Business Daily, uh, IBD Live, uh, on November the 8th, and also by Stock Charts on November the 14th. In both of these interviews, I talk about Asbury Research's latest research, including our models and what they're telling us. We have other models in addition to the Asbury 6 and the CEF model. Both of these interviews are available at asburyresearch.com by clicking the media tab that's along the top of the screen. They are also available on the Asbury Research YouTube channel. For those that are following our research and like our, uh, like our approach to markets, these videos are a good way to see some of our latest charts and see us talk about the markets in a little more depth. 
Um, by the way, you can sign up for our free bi-weekly report by visiting asburyresearch.com again and scrolling down to the click to subscribe button. These are um, basically what you'll be signing up for is you will get our appearances in the media. Uh, you'll, get an e uh, you'll get an email, a branded email that's going to notify you of those. Uh, we also put out some free research a couple of times a month. So again, this is another way that you can look at our research, see what we're thinking for free. Finally, next week, I will be a featured guest on the Schwab Network's Morning Trade Live on Tuesday, November the 21st at about 9.15 in the morning central time with host and lead anchor Oliver Rennick. So there it is, our latest bi-weekly following the money podcast for today and a short synopsis of what we think is particularly important to pay attention to as we move into the end of 2023. We'll see you again right here in about two weeks with our next following the money podcast. In the meantime, you can subscribe to the Asbury Research Channel on YouTube for more podcasts and data-driven trading and investment uh, investing information just like this. And if interested, uh, in getting more information about our services for individual and professional investors, just visit asburyresearch.com and go to the contact tab to connect with us. Mm -hmm.